Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations at a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Parts. Brought to you by Lady Parts. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Do you ever miss Lady Parts? <sighs> No, I kind of think of it as a parent brand. I do too. I do too. <laughs> Diane is a CEO and she's just like, she sits there at a little desk. She's a perfect CEO, she's I want She's like, say. buy, sell, buy, sell. That's oh, not what you she know do. Diane. She do? She does, but whatever. Um, a reminder that this is, we're at, we, uh, this is a uh, double, double, double. Oh. I guess it's more double, double than double, double, double. You're right. And I the mean, hydrant is working. The hydrant has kicked in. Um, I did the hydrant Did the hydrant kick off the recess like I predicted? Yeah, that was always huge. Like <laughs> Revelation. Revelation health news. She Revelation like, station. She's like, what if you... What if you kicked off your recess with a hydrant somehow? Yeah. I don't know what that... I mean, the like idea was like when you do shrooms, which... Oh, right, right, right. You know... Uh, sometimes people will smoke weed to like start the trip. And I think you can start your recess with a hydrant. My own kind of the non, uh, psychedelic trip. Yes. You're um, right. of my calmness. name is Julia Davidovich and every week I trip on recess. <laughs> it is a great name for a CBD beverage. It kind of is actually it's perfect. Every time I think of recess, I think of that show, though recess. Oh, I think of when kids were like, "Oh, my favorite period is recess." It's like Ooh, that's not hilarious. real. That's not a choice. It's like math or science, or history, or English. <laughs> math or science, or you're right. It was crammed in the middle of your day at like what 11 a.m. No, that was. Mm, it was more of a two a two screw, if you ask me. <laughs> oh yeah, it was definitely a two screw. Yeah, I f- um, feel like we had two recesses. I'm remembering things wrong. Who knows? Wow. I mean, and what year does a recess become a free period? Middle school. Middle school. Oh, no. Free period? The big transition. No. I feel like middle school, you just don't, you just get your lunch. Or no, wait. Well, it depends on what kind of schedule your school is on. Like, if you're on a block schedule, which I think most schools are. Wow. You really dropped that word, block (laughs) schedule. I don't even remember what that means. I think it's like, you know, in the A block, in the B block, like oh. in the A block, I have science. In the B block, I have shibubu. And then it's like maybe A block classes are like an hour and a half. I don't know. Email Diane if I'm right. Oh, fuck. I and think then, what we did was just like we'd be like, I don't know, grade 12. It would be like 12E. Mm. And then it'd be like, oh, the 12E group is, I don't think we called them blocks. I don't remember. Okay. okay. It was dumb like that, though. Oh, fuck. I forget all of this shit. I mean, you call everything different. You, like, say weird shit. I'm not weird. No, it's normal. Uh, you say different <laughs> things for normal. school stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was different. Oh, you want to hear one? Yeah. Pencil crayon. What do you think that is? A pencil crayon? Mm-hmm. My gut says colored pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I was like, I don't say colored pencil. I've never really said That's it. That's so, like, why pencil crayon, though? Because, like... It's both. The pencil it's and not crayon. because it's a pencil. It's not waxy or anything. It's but not it, like, waxy. It's colored like a crayon. Whatever. I have a theory. Hmm. My theory is that Crayola made the colored pencils up there first. Oh fuck! Maybe. Yeah. That's interesting. I think we have a. I used to use a brand called like Laurentin. Is it French? I don't Be honest. Know. It was just kind of a standard there too. Okay. I'll put them in the slimer. The Why Canadian not? standard. The Canadian standard for color. Um. Perfect. Okay, so let's just jump right back into Bad Boy Updates, where we left off last week. i love to hear it, baby. We we left off on a sour note with Kevin Spacerama. Um, oh my god, sorry. Yeah. Early, I mean, whatever, this isn't even a good boy. Okay. Wordle? I've yeah. been using the same word. What word? <laughs> I mean, this is just a triumph for you, because I never saw the value in using the same word every single day. I just think you, like, you kind of get to know the word, you get to know, like what different patterns are. I just think it's helpful. It's been space. It's space? Been, but, I mean, you said spacey. Oh. <laughs> so it was like fucking... Sure. Now it's ruined my word. What do you think... Uh, but it really worked out today. I don't know if you... I know. haven't done it. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I broke my streak, so life is meaningless. What do you mean? Like, I Like missed- your old one? 
Well, because I did it every day, but then it, I do oh, it on my laptop. It? And when I went to New York, I did it on my phone. And so I, lo- I lost my streak. But it's fine. Oh, um, I see, I see, I see, I see. I thought you said you beat your streak. No, my streak is was great, and now it's fucking nothing. I'm sorry. I just opened. Sorry to talk about Johnny Bravo again. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's a perfect continuation from last I week. I don't know what I was about to look up, but it was still in the tab, and it said that his enemies are Christopher, whoever that is, comma Donny Osmond. What? <laughs> yeah, had no clue. <laughs> wow, who do Johnny Bravo and Donny Osmond hated each other so much? I know. Do you think Donny Osmond really did feels a voice? like some kind of Elvis thing now? Oh, you're right. Classic Two Elvis Vegas boys. Feet. Oh, yeah. Being a Canadian, I feel like I just don't know enough about American culture sometimes. That's okay. I feel like I don't know enough about Elvis sometimes. Um, look, I feel like I know a lot of his songs. Take it from somebody about. who had an Elvis poster my freshman year of college oh, in my dorm room. He was so hot. He was hot, but incredibly problematic, yet it sure. didn't stop me from displaying him in my dorm room. Um, he was a tool for others, though. I feel yes. like people used him. People used him. It was a little I problematic, guess. but people did um, use him. And so I didn't really know much about him either, yet I still had the poster because I'm a Listen, poser. You can't look at Elvis and not be immediately horny, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's true. That's a curse. I think maybe Elvis is where our two types converge. Oh, wow. You're right. Um, I think so. The only difference, though, is I would do Johnny Bravo and you wouldn't because he's blonde. I still do Johnny Bravo. Oh, and that is a guarantee. Uh oh. Someone. Is he your celebrity hall pass? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Just an inanimate object cartoon <laughs> is my hall pass always. Um, yes, I'm, I really am curious if my parents still have that towel. Not because I want to jack off to it or anything. I think you like, do. I think I, I want to fuck my towel. I I just want to you... remember correctly. Cause, you like, should ask your mom. I don't know. Not what, that she knew that I had a crush on it. <laughs> hey, hey like, do we have knew... that towel with the man on it I still? knew you and that towel had something. <laughs> I always sensed it. She was it. so worried about me, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. She She's was like, like, wow. Why what? is she blushing every time she uses that towel? <laughs> um, so do you ever weird. use it with the outside facing in so that he was like... I think he was double-sided. <gasps> I know. That's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I can't. Dirty pop. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, so Elon Musk date. Mm-hmm. A SpaceX flight attendant. I can't. Said that Elon Musk exposed himself. And I was in a Tesla on the way here. Wow. I know. Wow. It, it was a lift. That. I know. It was I, a lift. Though. It's nice when that happens. I know. What about the handle? What the door about, handles. Um, <laughs> this time he opened them for me when I got to it. He like went around and opened the door for I don't you? know how he did it. I think he must have just like leaned and did it. Because oh. they just popped. Oh, maybe there's I met a him button. at the Chevron. Listen, <laughs> sorry. Met him at the gas station. I don't know. Is that too much info? Who fucking cares? Uh, don't kill me. Please I, don't stop I, and kill I me. I think sh- there, are, there are plenty of chevrons. There's so many chevrons. Yeah. Um, you also, I mean, you could have been anywhere in the city. Listen, I can be anywhere, baby. She it's could go anywhere. I'm a woman. She's, 2022. She's a woman in 2022. She could travel across Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> By myself. Um, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that. talking about? Oh, yeah. He opened the door for me, mm-hmm. which was probably for the best. And he probably did it on purpose because I'm sure a lot of people get to the door and they're just like, um, hello, yeah, space door. Like, what do I it's do? Like a, it's like a button handle. It's very weird. It's like you don't need to make everything a button. Yeah, I will crack my nail if I try that. <sighs> That's true. It's like I will. really have to straighten my hand. And you already did in. crack your nail. I really did. But it, this was putting my shoe on. I listen. The shoe's the boo. Um. Anyway. Elon Musk exposed himself and propositioned her for sex, documents show. True asshole. Ugh. I mean, not surprised, but still. The company made two, paid the company paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars for her silence. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. See, that makes me It's just such that's, a guilty that's a sus. That's right you that means yes, it happened. Can you like not like I would have Hey Elon, denied it. stop buying Twitter. I don't even know I where feel you like are there in this was anymore. Like, there was drama with that. Like he, there was like lawyer and um, chairman drama. I don't he was like, chairman. never mind. Chair people. Um, chair. Thank They're you. Peop- Sorry. I mean, probably chairman. I mean, I'm sure it's all men. Yeah, I'm I haven't sure looked at the. I haven't looked. <laughs> I mean, a woman needs to buy Twitter. At least a not. I cis would, I want my towel man. man to buy Twitter. 
My you sexy want crush from the towel. To oh, care. yeah. He would be he a great... To have I, towel. You know who Johnny Bravo, a, CEO? I think Johnny, Johnny Bravo... No, he would definitely bring Trump back. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> he really would. I think that guy's funny. Um, I just fucking love johnny bravo well he loves his mother which is something you can't get on board with but no i'm like what do you want to f- i think okay here's the thing i think if johnny bravo had a bad childhood he would have been a serial killer <laughs> oh because i think he has an unhealthy obsession with women Interesting. but because he and his mom They're have such a weirdly talented. his mom johnny bravo's mommy johnny bravo's mom have a weirdly close relationship he is a uh Look, he's not good. I'm not saying he's good. This I'm not he a Johnny. Have, I don't Bravo think he has apologist. hatred towards women. No, I think it's all love, baby. I think it's a little too much of love. Yeah, I think that he maybe could. Uh, you know, he's a man of a certain time. Oh, I'll say it. Yeah. Um, he would not. He would. He's canceled. He's canceled. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's. But if he came back as a mm, woman, yeah, with a beehive, ooh, I would love it. <gasps> Speaking of which, that Amy Winehouse. Oh, that weird, is fucking weirdest fucking headline I've ever seen. I it can't. was like Neil Patrick Harris. And he's never been a bad boy, right? No. OK, but now you're a bad boy. I know this isn't a full episode, but it's an honorary mention. Well, someone did call him an Alan Rising or something. Oh, you're right. OK, so I guess maybe he's a future bad boy. We'll see. We'll see. In 2011, I think it was like after re- re- close to the Amy Winehouse's death. Wow. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris and his husband David Burke threw a party where there was like a weird meat pla- a meat platter that he called Amy Winehouse's corpse. Like why? Let me make sure that's one hundred percent correct. But like seeing the picture, I like I never heard of this. Yeah. Never saw the picture. I think I was picturing some kind of like meat face. We're not going to put the picture in. Wilmer. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, but uh, there was a. I mean, I remember just like some face sculpted out of me but i don't remember whose face it is that's like am i put i'll put that in the slimer because it's supposed okay. to be funny if i can find it i can't even remember who it is but it's like okay let me read this from delisted i think you literally google meat face um okay so three months after amy winehouse died neil patrick harris and his husband david burka threw a halloween party um that's very twisted <sighs> they made the decision to include a buffet platter buffet not buffet who am i a uh, buffet platter that was made to look like, quote, the corpse of Amy Winehouse, complete with Amy's trademark beehive hairdo, tattoos, and her bloody decomposing face. It's just very odd. I mean, just like, why can't... It's Halloween. Just make it like a dead person. A- any other person. Any it's other just like, like, what just the like, fuck? It's just a dead... Yeah, Don't just give a them an identity. Oh, it's very weird. That goes from like, you know, whatever Halloween being... Uh, traditional creepy Halloween to like, just offensive Halloween for no reason. Yeah, I mean, just like, you know, when, was it Harry that dressed as Sweet Sweet Hitler? Just kidding. I I'm, I apologize for calling, for calling um, him Sweet Sweet Hitler. Everyone dresses as fucking Hitler. Like, so many people do Hitler. It's like, this you is either like the, did Hitler or blackface. Like, I guess it's the Hitler of the charcuterie boards. Doing uh, a dead it person. really is the Hitler of charcuterie boards. But you wouldn't put Hitler on a charcuterie board, would you? Um, and if that wouldn't Make immediately get us mustache? flagged, it would be a perfect episode title. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not mustache tapenade <laughs> oh mustache tapenade i would take a bite out of that uh maybe that I can like be the title tapenade. me too it's Listen, fucking, I'm a i like huge, olives i'll try and find maybe some like fun uh tapenade art to put in the oh, slime room I'm because sure there's some hilarious. beautiful tapenade art but like if someone did that i'd be offended mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i'd be weird um, just like don't make people's faces i don't know unless it's like a tribute like maybe dr phil's face out of salami would be fun i feel like i've seen that very light color. I feel hand. like any sort of celebrity corpse isn't a good look. Why Amy? What Neil and David did was fucked up. Neil. Even on Just Halloween. Just weird. Um, did you watch How I Met Your Mother, by the way? No. I definitely watched all of it. Oh, no. Um, email Diane if that makes me a bad person. <sighs> Just, you're, you're as bad as Neil. I'm as bad as Neil. <laughs> no. Um, no, I... Well, it was in college. It was a different time then. It's fine. You I watched it in college. Ugh. Listen, um, if I like rewatch some of this, I'm like Summer Heights High. Oh. So problematic. Oh my, oh my God. Um, anyway, Chris Lily, if you're listening, you fucked me. You fucked up. I wonder if he's like publicly apologized. Mm. Okay. Another bad boy update. 
Fire Festival organizer Billy McFarland has been released from prison early. Why does that photo of him, by the way, look like John Mulaney? Oh, I missed it. We'll put it in one more You sent it to me. Oh, it's probably just the... I'll put it in, though. Put it in, put, put it in. in. You can decide. Absolutely. Oh, he does John... look like John Mulaney in this pic. Oh, and your John Mulaney update, too. What John Mulaney update? That he invited Dave. Oh, yeah. So I guess in his show in Columbus, Ohio last night, like Dave Chappelle's surprise opened for John Mulaney and obviously predictably told like transphobic and homophobic jokes. I just like... And everyone oh, laughed yeah. and loved it. And I saw a bunch of tweets from trans people who were there and they were like, this was the fucking worst that like I just sat in a oh, room my God. as everybody laughed at transphobic jokes. And then Dave Chappelle got off the stage and John Mulaney did his set. That's very weird. What a weird thing to have Comedians to endure. are so like... Not self-aware? Well, it's like you don't all have to like go for, go for, go for bat, go for bat, go to bat for each other. No. It's okay for you to be like not invite someone on stage if they're problematic. But I don't, I guess John Mulaney doesn't give a shit and that's what it is. I guess so. I, I mean, mean, unless he's been living under a rock. I mean, he was in rehab, but I still think he knows about it. I feel like by now you would learn. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's like, obviously, I used to think Dave Chappelle was very funny. I think he's yeah. a very funny person. But he like, he tells extremely hateful jokes now. Yeah, I mean. And doubles down and just like, I don't know where the, I don't know why. <laughs> just like, don't invite someone onto your stage who's going to like spew hate at people in the audience and then make other people in the audience feel like it's okay to spew hate. Yeah. That's I what mean, you're doing. Literally invite anyone else, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, But yeah, Billy McFarland, I got, got released from prison early. I think that's fine. You know, like. I don't think um, it wasn't a violent crime what he did. Sure, not a violent crime. Whatever. He didn't do anything creepy that we know of. I mean, yeah, that's true. I guess. I, I wonder if he's going to start a new venture. <laughs> oh, sure. What's it going to be? Oh, who knows? Some, Some sort of, of fucking. Juice? You know what it's going to be? I already know. It's going to be crypto based. Oh, fuck. He you know? NFT bullshit. He's going to for sure do NFTs with Ja Rule. <laughs> oh, my God. You saw that Madonna NFT. What's no. happening out there? Okay, Madonna has a very interesting TikTok account. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll put one of her greatest uh, hits yeah, in the Yeah, I agree. I agree. We should put a greatest hit in the Slimer. Um, I don't know. Email Dan your thoughts. Okay. Speaking of new venture, mm-hmm. Anna Delvey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I forgot. Is starting her own law firm. Oh, my God. And she had an art show. It's magic. New scam. Sully, don't I go I guess anywhere. we'll try and find some of that Sully. art. Sully. Sully's running around. I don't know what he's doing. Running around downtown. Running around downtown. Um, okay, should I read what she said in an Anna Delby voice? Oh, yeah. Okay. Today, I'm very excited. No, I can't do it. Every single time, I just sound like fucking Dexter's lab. You kind of do, but like, I don't know. I feel like you do a good job. You I feel think like Johnny, you just, just kind of sound like Dexter. You think Johnny Bravo got ugly and Dexter got hot? Oh, fuck. I don't There's know. There's no way Dexter got hot. You know who was hot, though? Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee oh, definitely yeah. got that's hot. Why, that's why Dexter was the way he was, honestly. Dee Dee? Do you think Dee Dee would go for Johnny? Go for Johnny. Go for, <laughs> I think he, yeah, I think. <laughs> go for Johnny Bravo. I, th- I feel like that's a kind of weird personality that just kind of mash up and yeah. really thrive together. They would be a perfect prom couple, oh assuming they were the same age, not like the ages they were in their shows. <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> assuming she's at least 18 to 24. Right, right. Because that is probably what Johnny Bravo goes for in his uh, age of, I don't know, oh, like, yeah. I mean, 45. If he's 45, he's definitely going for a 20-year-old. Oh, totally. It's Johnny he's, Bravo. It's Johnny Bravo. Um, How old was Patron Priscilla Saint of Bad Boy Pod. when she... <sighs> How old was who? Elvis's. Or was oh, it? Elvis's mm-hmm. girl? Elvis's girl. <laughs> wow, Johnny Bravo's tab is still here. Da, na, 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 na. Wow. Okay. Today, I'm very excited to launch my very own legal practice, Delvian Daughters, PLCC, or short, Double D. Wait, Delvian Daughters? Delvian Daughters. What? And she said for her law firm, retainer had to be paid in Dogecoin. Okay. I'm just like Anna Delvey Musk. 
Also, her name is Anna Sorokin, but like to me, she's Anna Delvey. I know that it was like her con name, but I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, you honestly, if you have a name you'd prefer to be called. If you don't know her as Anna Delvey, mm. I don't know you. Yeah, she obviously doesn't want to be called her original name. No. Yeah. It, it, In to this respect, case, the nickname sticks. To respect Anna Delvey's wishes, I will call her Anna Delvey. It's true. But I will not pay her law retainer in Dogecoin. We could put some of her art in Wilmer Sliderama. I honestly don't hate it. Oh, so it's her own? So was it just like she curated or something? She, this no, is it's her, her art. Her. I think it's some okay. of her art that she made in prison. Ooh, interesting. Which I feel like I saw in a Docky Walkie Doo Doo, or maybe it was an inventing Anna. I mean, the prize of being Anna is that she can put she out can. anything and people will come. I mean, I saw a tweet when that show first came out that was like, Anna Delvey could have waited four years and just become an Instagram influencer. Oh, fuck. So she probably is going to be an influencer now. I, I mean, that's that's America, though. That's just how it I know. Works I here, mean, I is she in America now? It's even if people don't like you, they find a reason to follow you anyway and kind of catapult you into some kind of interesting real or um, celebrity reality. Oh, she's going to have weird. a reality show. Oh, my God. Definitely. Anna's um, world. Delvey. Anna's house. Dan yeah. Delvey's den. I was going to say Delvey's. With, down home with the Delvey's? Oh, my God. I thought you were going <laughs> to say Downton Delvey. Uh, Downton Delvey. Um, perfect name. Mm. No, I was going to say something super. Oh, at her art show, I saw some photos from it. And she had models walking around holding framed framed drawings. Like, models were just, like, roaming around the gallery. I guess that was part of her art artistic vision. Interesting. So they weren't just, like, hung? No. Interesting. And one one model had um, pantyhose over her face. So it's like performance art, too. Yes, it is. Listen, she does it all. It's like a Shia LaBeouf rising. <laughs> it's like comedy now. I don't want to go see stand-up unless there's some kind of, like, performance. I'm never going to go see stand-up again. I'm, <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I do want to go to a drag show or two, though. That'll be, that would be fun. I mean, after this after this surge. Yeah, after this next surge around. After this I next big surge. This. I love this. I love the flattening of the curve <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. flatten the curve clap for essential workers um best part of the pandemic wow that was really a did you do that point five. no it did not happen in our neighborhood i never heard it so i didn't know to do it every but single it night here. i was like what is going on i never heard it i heard it all the time every hour of the day just kidding <laughs> it was um, at eight right it was at eight perfect why eight hour. I guess because the essential workers are just getting home from their completely exhausting shift. Yeah, probably. And they want to be like interrupted by their neighbors clapping for them. Oh, yeah. Email Diane if that's true. Like I'm just trying to eat my peas. Um, those were all of the bad boy updates. Holy fucking shit. So let's shut the door. <laughs> Mark McGrath's favorite show, Johnny Bravo? Honestly, maybe if Johnny Bravo is based off of Elvis, Mark McGrath is based off of Johnny Bravo. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Mark McGrath to Johnny Bravo pipeline. <laughs> it's strong. It's such a connection there. He kind of does have a similar chest, I would say. Mm -hmm. I don't think Johnny has any tattoos, but he would probably be that's good. Just, that's just the iteration of Johnny Bravo we're in. Yeah, and like loves Vegas. Kind of seems like a guy who loves Vegas too. Oh, God. You know, Mark just, and Johnny would tear up in Vegas. Mark and Johnny's time in Vegas. Mark tear and Johnny up. take Vegas. Oh my God, tear it down. <laughs> tear it down. Um, paint the town sexual, I say. <laughs> who are your good boys this week? Oh, fuck. Who are my good boys? Um, oh. Okay. I listened to about 40 episodes, I think, of Goop this week. Oh, you're no, not oh, Goop. Poog. Oh, my God. Poog. And honestly, I think around the 35th episode, I realized that it was wow. Goop backwards. Oh, really? I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I should. Should I listen? Yeah. Okay. I are the know. episodes. How long are the episodes? Probably around the same length of ours. Or, okay. Or shorter. An hour. Less than an hour. Less than an hour. God. I think less than an hour is the perfect length through. for a podcast. I have no regrets out of about having a podcast that's less than an hour. No, except like, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, I wish there was more of that. Yeah, I bet people think about that when they listen to Bad Boy Pod all the time. Yeah. They're like, I wish I had 25 more minutes of these two people talking. Oh, just put 25 minutes in my ear. I know. And they're like, they didn't even talk about Borsan for more than 10 minutes. Oh, now I can't come. <laughs> <laughs> they Borsan say talk. in the shower. Um, okay. Do you listen in the shower? 
Oh, email Diane if you listen to the shower. Do you take a 45 minute shower and listen to us? I think that would be a huge waste of water, but I support you listening to the pod. Oh my God. Who could stand in the shower for 45 minutes? Yeah, they would sit. I honestly get bored around the seven minute mark and I have to get out. It is. It can be boring, but I do like to like take some deep breaths. I mean, but that probably takes like 30 seconds. I said that I I couldn't wait to shower last night. I don't know why. It just yeah. slips out of my mouth. Sometimes it feels good. Well, I, I like showering before bed, but I also oh. like in the summertime showering in the morning too. I shower in the morning. I'm a sweaty little Betty. Um, not my good boy, but I worked out twice this week. Look at you. I uh, thank you. Um, my good boy is a fucking game. Oh my god! It's a word game. It's called Not Words with a K. Not words. Oh, okay. Um, that took me a second. I don't know why it's called that, uh, but it's kind of like a crossword game. Mm -hmm. Um, but you don't get clues for the word. You'll just get like a certain amount. It's kind of like Sudoku and crosswords had a baby. I can't really explain it. We could put a screenshot in one more Sliderama though. Um, description. It's really fun. It's, and it's not easy. And it's like, they have a, a, it's not easy with a K. Um, and they have a new one every day. So it's kind of like Wordle in that way or a Mm. crossword where it's like every day there's a new puzzle to do and it gets harder. Oh my god. As the week goes on. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you looking for one and <laughs> I was like, really what like... is she looking for? I was like, which page am I on? Fuck me. I mean so many pages, so many drops, so little bad. time. Wow. I really just wanted to hear Tom for a second. I think Tom Cruise was at Ken. Um ugh, he got some stupid award, I think, for Top Gun. I can't believe oh I know god. that. Oh my god, leave me alone. Leave us all alone. He came up also in conversation last night about people Oh fuck. Short people? What? No, well, he's short, I think. Yes. Um, Nothing wrong with a short king, but I don't like Scientologists. You're right. I don't either. Um, he was like, came up like a conversation of people who you like, you see their face and you're just like, I do not like that face. There's something oh, about that face. There is. It's not that they're ugly necessarily. It's just like no. untrustworthy. He's not ugly. I mean, I don't think he would be a movie star if he was ugly. Sure. No. We're very shallow as a nation. Exactly. When people are too attractive, I find them untrustworthy. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, so I'm shocked that you're friends with me. It's but true. It's... I do not trust this bitch. No, I'm way too hot. Um, I do not like Tom Cruise either. Yeah. Also, like, do we need to give him more awards? I think he's fine. Um, he's no. a father. What more could he want? Listen, his gift is... Fatherhood. Doing his own stunts. <laughs> Doing his own stunts and yelling at cast members. Yeah, yelling at yelling at people. Perfect. Um, so anyway, that's my good boy. And my other good boy was I made these little bean burgers with beans and corn and like peppers and stuff. I just really like the way you said that. Little bean burgers. Um, here's the problem is it's they really look like dog throw up. <laughs> Please send a picture for you. I have. will. I oh well, first of all, making the making the batter stuff. You can sit on my lap, baby. He's not going to. Fucking Making bitch. the batter was a full vomit. Here, I'm going to... I can't. <laughs> I'm airdropping this to you. Great. Oh, no. I'm going to text it. Okay. Um, and we could put it in Wilmer Sliderama because it's some of the most vomity shit I've ever seen. Um, but I think you'll like it. <laughs> Let me know when you get it. I have her text box open for anticipation. Oh my god! Get out of here! Don't Does they look, look like, like peanut butter cookies? No, it looks like dog vomit. If you zoom in, you could see corn and pepper chunks. Okay, thank you. It looks like kibble vomit. You know, we could put it in one more slide of so everyone can make. <laughs> well, I'm they're not, never like not going to put that in. I, I am putting that in there. I will. I like gagged, kind of looking at it for a second. So I mean, that was my goal. I'm trying to call it a peanut butter cookie. It's not a peanut butter cookie. <laughs> Have we talked about this? Or you're a smooth booth or? A- chunky monkey i'm a chunky monkey but you need to do a smooth booth for peanut butter cookies you're right they get too hard the chunkies they really get too hard um but yeah i'm definitely a chunky monkey normally although i feel like in between i could do with some pulp you're right it is kind of the pulp of the peanut butter world (laughs) it definitely is it undoubtedly is wait is are the chunks in crunchy peanut butter crumbles Oh. Is a chunk a crumble? A chunk is a crumble. A chunk's a crumble, no doubt about it. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's literally, it's the exact same thing. I a did order crumble. goat cheese crumbles. Order. Buy. Order. I saw order the chimichurri borsam, maybe you remember from last week, and I was like, no, I'm going to get the goat cheese crumbles. No, I want the morsels. I wanted the morsels. And I thought about getting the borsam morsels, but I was like, what am I going to do? Make a salad? 
<laughs> well, I did make a salad with the goat cheese. Okay, fine. I also made an omelet. Listen, I can't not have cheese in my fucking salad. I'll put an borsan animal. in an omelet. Maybe we've talked oh, about yeah. it. I assume we've talked. We've covered everything f- borsan related. I feel like on the box, we're even like, this is great in eggs. <gasps> borsan pizza. Oh, pizza. Pizza. And each quadrant is a different borsan flavor. Oh, my God. Diane's oh my God. little secret. <laughs> Diane's a secret little. Diane's little pizza party. You think borsan can make a frozen pizza? Oh, yeah. Let's get in touch with the CEO. Quattro formaggio. Quattro formaggio. <laughs> oh, man. Italian prime minister. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, is that? No, it's not. It's fine. It's not even donkey to make fun of Italians. It or is, is kind it? of. It is? I don't know. I think it is. Okay, fine. Quattro formaggio it is. Um, okay, we should do TV talk. I mean, we're at 33 McGee. I can't believe it. TV talk. Um, wow, that came in loud and clear. I can hear my voice in TV talk way more than yours. I can't believe it's our stupid little voices. Can you play it again? Sure. TV talk. I really heard yours more. Yeah, I think I think it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I made you the um, harmony. Oh wow! And I'm the melody. Beautiful. Email Diane if that's true. <laughs> that's um, how you are in your friendship. <laughs> it's flash co-pottership. True. Um, but like without one without the other is no good. Like an unchunky peanut butter, my name is Diane. Like an unchunky peanut butter. Um, wait, I'm the, Sully Clark. <laughs> I did watch. Hmm? Yeah, he's Sullivan Clark. Um, I did watch uh Our Father. Oh fuck that docu walky doo doo. So how many kids were there? Like over a hundred? I mean, there must. It, by the end of the documentary, it now. said that there were ninety seven kids. To okay. recap, this is about. Um, a pervy fertility doctor who used his own jism uh, to impregnate <laughs> women synopsis. who came to his clinic uh, without their knowledge that sure. it was his cum. Yeah. Some of them thought it was um, a different donor. Some of them thought it was their partner. Um, so there were a couple different stories going on. But at any rate, I think uh, putting your semen in someone who didn't know they were receiving your semen uh in whatever way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. is not good. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's it is rape. It is. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. And I bad. mean, and now there's a law against it. Sure, but who didn't think to put a law on that? I guess. But spoiler alert: like his only punishment was a fine of five hundred dollars, <laughs> which is so fucking gross. I can't. Um, you know, that's like a flat screen TV. Yeah, and a bunch of other fertility doctors have been exposed at this point. 66. 66? There are at least 66. Wow. At least. I, I researched. I'm sorry, and I, I have no problem saying this. I'm not going to go to a male OBGYN. Oh, fuck no. No, get those forceps out of my, out of my computer. <laughs> get unless you're, out of here. Unless you're a woman. Yeah. No, Honestly. No trust. No. I'll, let me rephrase. Unless you have a vagina... Keep those forceps out of my, out of my, out of my puss. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I definitely did have a male doc, uh, I know. take a fibroid out of me. Oh, and your first one. A few fibroids probably. Okay. And my first ever. Yeah. That was painful. To take out the fibroids that go in? Yeah. Really went in there. But there was another woman in the room, so I felt safe. Okay. You were awake. I was awake. I was watching it, baby. Oh, on the, on the big screen? On the nice On big the silver screen? screen? Yeah. Um, Watching them excavate. Do it men never awful. get ultrasound? I thought I shit my pants, honestly. I feel like men sometimes do get their balls ultrasound. Did. Oh, email Diane if you've done that. As foreplay. Very cute. <laughs> Very curious. <laughs> um, well, because for women, there's the two. There's the sonogram, which is Audi, and the ultrasound, which is any. I think. Is that what it is? Mm, email Diane on that. I don't know. Say. I don't know. I'm not um, a doctor. And then there's the mammorama doo-doo, which I can't. Oh, fuck. Um, I can't wait for that. Anyway, I already talked about the two documentaries I watched on the plane last week, but okay, I think this season of The Circle is really good. I honestly haven't finished it yet. I haven't had time, but... There's the four final episodes, or I might just be one final episode is next week. Okay, good. I don't think think they do a chunk for the final. I, I don't remember. Do they do a reunion ever? No, it's just everyone who left is at the final. Huh. Remember, they do this, they do the table part. Where they all come to the table and I don't know. It's just funny because when that door closes, that like little 
I don't know, filter thing for your AC just like goes up. Oh, this random. It just goes poof. This random fucking sponge. Foam. foam yeah. Squiggle. They're just like, put this in at the exact size. And I'm like, how? Foam, foam squiggle in the slider? And they're like, yeah, we'll definitely <laughs> put that foam squiggle. <laughs> I hate it. I'm, I'm sorry. Not GERS in particular. I, I mean, just hate why them in is it there? It's definitely, it's not for the AC. It is kind of. It's just like, we're here to protect from bugs. Um, okay, we're going to put this in Wilmer Sliderama and let the fans decide what it's for. I don't understand. I don't understand either. Um, it's a but squiggle it's one of the most sponge. I do not drop understand. Drop dead gorgeous things I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd love to see a squiggle in a friend's home. Um, I also will say this TV talk mm-hmm. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 7. Oh, my. Uh, mwah, all winter season. Mama I'm obsessed mia. with it. All winners season. All winners. Wow. It's on Paramount Plus. Interesting. Um, Definitely don't have that. Might have to use your mom's. Um, it's actually mine. Oh. Yeah. So we sorry that That's I'm cutting cool. the cord to my mom. Uh, but it is my Paramount Plus login. Amazing. Can't wait um, to use her. What's happening on Ninety Day Fiance? I'm not into this group. Yeah, I'm. I'm losing interest. They're honestly. boring. I'm still watching it, but I'm losing interest. I feel like there's people I want to fast forward through. Yeah, there's like nothing fun happening. It's no. just a whole lot of like, you're here and our life's about to change forever. Yeah. Are you I'm willing like, to it, do it's it? Just not, it's Shit. just not a fiery season. I kind of, like, I think I'd like like before the 90 more. I sort of agree. Or like the complicated situations where they're like doing the other way and shit. Yeah. I don't like the other way though. Yeah. It's I only like before the 90 days. Oh, I love the diaries now. It's oh, just like 90 day diaries where they're just like, well, here's the tune, by the way, the melody at the beginning. Do, do, do. 90 day diaries. Oh. And I'll be like, like catching a, up with this fucking rando you had. That not sounds seen like in when ages. you dialed the wrong number. That's exactly what it sounds like. Oh, it's like, do, do, do. That's kind of I'm what it's sorry. like. And then this you... call did not go through. <laughs> Please hang up and try this call again. And then you get the 18 year old Christian girl who married uh, that. Do you remember? The, like, 26-year-old man. Yes. They're broken up. Oh, you don't say. And <laughs> the squiggle just moved again. <laughs> oh, really? The ghost is in the room. Oh, man. Oh, fucking with the squiggle. My possessed foam squiggle. <laughs> she was like, actually, um, he was, like, really manipulative, and I'm really glad to be out of that relationship, and I'm back in Connecticut, or where the fuck she's from. Um loving to live back with her parents or whatever or like near or like literally in her parents attic i cannot tell oh okay um do you have any other tv talks i don't think so great well this was a 40 a shorty 40 oh shorty 40 for you um email diane at badboypod.com your bad boys on the blank your good boys um any sort of delicious vomity treat you like to make and that would be perfect follow us at bad boy podcast on insta grizzle Thanks. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> my my deepest regrets would you ever and that? condolences. Um, Shop.badboypie.com for, for a Boss Ben Biden ass t-shirt. Just kidding. Uh, we don't have one of those. And we're not going to make one. No. Um, and rate us five stars. Oh, we'd love to see it. We love to see it. And you know what? I hope you have a great trip. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Listen, can't wait to see my jet blue baby. I cannot wait for you if to the see TVs your jet don't blue work. Baby. Listen, uh, guess I'll just have to work or some it shit. It is what it is. It happens. Guess I'll just have to. Do you have extra room? What do you mean? Like the extra leg room? No. Okay. You think I paid for that? Yeah, you're right. Um. Okay. Well, I think we can, you know, call that a double decker sandwich. Oh my god! What a perfect double double moil and trouble. Delish. Trouble? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh my god. Brought to you by Lady Parts.